Hello and welcome to John's Author Diary for the weekend in April 29th, 2018. I've had a much better week than I did last week. Last week was a bit of a write-off. This week I've managed to get a few things done. I've done a lot in the background to prepare myself for the launch of Blind Gambit. Got a few notes from beta readers, so I'm doing a few final edits on the manuscript and getting ready to do things like submit the paperback and do things like the author's note at the back of the book. I started again with the outline for Blind Gambit 2. The story is going to be called Blind Reset. And I'm really happy with the outline. I think I've got quite a good story. It's going to continue the theme of being about disability as well as being a kind of fun adventure. I mentioned last week that I'm going to be helping an old school friend through the process of writing his first novel. He's had this idea in his head for about 10 years and he's had about four or five full starts. And I think because I've got a track record of starting a project and then finishing it, he approached me about doing a podcast. So I've recorded the first few episodes and I'm going to launch those on May the 1st. So the podcast is going to be called Stop Booking Around, as well as me guiding him through the process of writing. There's going to be a lot of stuff in there about motivation and focus and all the little hacks and shortcuts that I wish I'd have known about when I started embarking on my writing journey. So the point of the podcast is I want to at least get him to have written a first draft that he can then go off and work on. That's been a good way for me to think about my process. It's also going to be a lot of fun because I've been friends with Russ for about 25 years. I finished the Great Courses lectures on world mythology They took a while to get through, but they were really interesting. I got a lot out of those, and I think they'll inform some of the world building for a fantasy series I'm planning on doing next year. I also finished a Space Marine story that I intended to write the week before, so that's now in the bag. I'm really pleased with that. It's a great combination of being really dark and gritty, a lot of body horror, but then some quite manic humour as well. So I think it'll be an interesting read. At the moment, that's got the working title of Sirens, but it might change. I couldn't resist going back to fiction, so I started reading Wintersmith by Terry Pratchett. Now I'm a few hours into the audiobook, and it's one of the Tiffany Aitchin books. And although Samuel Vimes is probably my favourite character, it's the Tiffany books that, I don't know, there's something about them that just really hits me in the gut. There's always a lot of things about grief and yearning and nostalgia, the burden of responsibility. I think they're some of his most emotionally charged books for sure. So I should finish that over the next few days. And I'm also reading a non-fiction book, which is about postmodern philosophy. So again, all fun stuff. I've had no questions this week, but you can email me at john at johncronshaw.com. You can also follow me on Twitter. It's at jlcronshaw. My book, Addict of the Wasteland, is on Amazon for free now. It's your gateway drug to the Wasteland series. So if you want to download that, go to tinyurl.com slash addictofthewasteland. So until next time, cheerio. (laughs) 